What's going on ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Sarlin and we are watching Sword Art Online Abridged Episode 6. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this now because this looks like it's going to be a long one. So I'm excited and prepared, <laughs> or at least I hope I am. Profit fan base parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Anaplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support the official release. Woo! <laughs> All right. Goku! Huh? I advise on the suspect. Pursuing on foot. Can't you wait? Shit! Huh. So, did you catch him? No, he got away. Really? I figured some random perp would be no match for the world's greatest detective. Oh, <laughs> wait, no. That's Batman! And you're not Batman, are you? You will never be Batman. Hey, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, cut surprisingly deep. <laughs> well played. She was right. Griselda's ghost is really coming for us. And now, I'm the only one left. Soon, she'll ride my bloated corpse up the river states and escape to the world of the living. And then, there will be no stopping her! <laughs> Great. Now we have to deal with that. <sighs> so what's our next move, Kate? Can't believe you just left me with that guy! Really? What part of that was out of character for me? <laughs> Fair enough! I'm not sure if I should even give you this, but here. Hmm? You made this? But wouldn't you have had to have- If you say open your menu, I'm gonna stab you in the eye. <laughs> what? No! I was just gonna say- Huh, this is actually really good. Right. So anyway, I think we should go over what we know so far. Why? I figured the whole thing out hours ago. You what? Yeah. My sandwich. It was innocent. <laughs> Kirito, are you gonna- Shh. I must grieve. <laughs> I'm sorry, Griselda. I never meant for anything to happen to you. I'll do anything to make it right. Please. Oh, really? <laughs> what did you do to me, Schmidt? What did you do? G Griselda! Oh, God! Please don't kill me! I'll do anything! Answer the question, Schmidt. What did you do? What do you want? Scalps? I can get you scalps! Well, what? No! 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 We just want to know. <laughs> oh, I see. You're an orphan blood man. Do you prefer your victims pre-drained, or do you like to get your hands dirty? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, so you like them crucified? Well, that'll be a bit trickier, but I'm trying to work something out. Just stop! <laughs> uh, huh? Yoko? Kinds? Yeah, it's us, you idiot. Oh. So, where are we on the whole orphan blood thing? We talking heads or leaders? For the love of- we're not ghosts! We faked our deaths! Seriously, Schmidt, how many people would you have killed if we'd asked you to? That's not important. I disagree! <laughs> Schmidt? <laughs> One down! Wait... I know you. You're Schmidt from Piece of Schmidt Games! Please tell me that's not what you called your show. Oh, this is great. I'm a huge fan. Tell me, do you remember a user by the name of Johnny Black? Meet the Morgan. You remember? That's so flattering. Hey, while well, I've got you here, i like you to meet my friends. And Samson said, With an ass's jawbone, I have made asses of them. With an ass's jawbone, I have killed a thousand men. Huh? Uh, what? It, it's nothing. Forget it. No, no. You sighed. That's not nothing. <sighs> Boss, I get where you're going for. Bible quoting serial killer? It's a great motif. Classic. But it's a big book. They're not all going to be gems. Okay, big shot. Name one verse that's scarier than that. 
Oh, I don't know. How about no flesh shall be spared? What? No flesh shall be spared. Mark 13, 20. Holy shit, that's in the Bible? Have you ever actually read the Bible? Look, we're getting off track. I'm the guild leader, and I say my verse was better. Look, it's not just about the verse, okay? Don't you think the whole Jesus tells me to kill thing is holding us back? Plus, you're not even all that good at it. How dare you? The J-Man's teachings inform everything I do. Now, if you'll excuse me... <clears throat> It's time to do God's work, because as Jesus once said, snitches get stitches. That's not even a word, much less- Ah, forget <laughs> it. Let's just kill these guys and go. Hmm? Oh, what is it now? Oh, thank goodness, we're- <laughs> Saved. Yay? Stupid horse, that entrance was almost perfect. I thought you looked really cool, Kirito. Don't patronize me, yoga pants. Yoga pants? And who, pray tell, are you? What business do you have here? Detective Kirito, Line Grad PD. I'm on the hunt for a serial killer, <laughs> and these three are the only witnesses. I'm gonna need you gentlemen to put down your weapons. I'm afraid that's impossible, officer. The Lord has ordered these sinners dead. In the form of a guy who paid us 50 bucks. <clears throat> 50 bucks? Selling yourselves a bit cheap, don't you think? You guys provide an essential in-demand service, and you're definitely the leaders in your field. You're laughing coffin! I mean, you gotta cash in on that name recognition. That's what I keep telling him! But the high-paying clients won't touch us. They take one look at Reverend Killjoy over here and think we're a bunch of crazy people! Exactly! You could reach a much wider demo if you just toned down the religious theme. What you guys need is a total rebranding. Ad campaign. PR blast. <laughs> Get your faces out there. Let people know you're not just about the fire and brimstone. <laughs> you are multifaceted, three-dimensional killing machines, and you have got a little something for everyone. Because contract killing is a beat we can all dance to. Oh, man. Kirito, the chills. manager. <laughs> You've given us much to think about, young man. As payment, the lives of these sinners are now yours to command. But just know, it is by grace you have been saved. Through faith, not by works. Hey, that one was actually pretty good, Jeff. Thanks! Jesus told me to say it. Oh, okay then. <laughs> huh, so I own you guys now. That's cool. Can't wait to tell Tiff about this. Jeff. You sound ungrateful, Kirito. But what are you doing here? Uh... Why, Oko, we've come this far. I wasn't about to miss the end game. I'm sorry, what are you- Well, you see, I suspected all along that Kainz's death was nothing more than a ruse. The safe zones surrounding the towns are an immutable law of this game. Even still, that light show you put on was quite convincing. So, I did a little digging, and lo and behold, turns out that 457 has this fascinating little glitch that swaps the boring old teleport animation for the snazzy death version. The real kicker? The glitch only works if the game thinks you're in freefall. Like, say, and I'm just spitballing here, you were to hang yourself from a bell tower, or perhaps take a swan dive out a window. Pair that with a well-hidden teleport crystal, and you'd have an instant recipe for mysterious death. Serves one per conspirator, may contain trace amounts of called it. But like I said in the hotel room, a ghost wouldn't have to follow the rules of a game. How did you realize I was lying? Ah, well, that part was quite simple. You see, I'm not an idiot. Yeah, that'd do it. Shut up, Kynes. I thought it was clever. Of course, I do have some evidence, if you're into that sort of thing. After your quote-unquote death, I leapt out the window to give chase after your apparent killer. As I watched them get away, my first thought was, why would a ghost need a teleport crystal? My second thought was, oh shit, window. Shit. <laughs> And with that, much like that window, the cracks in your facade started to form. Your reaction when I suggested Kynes faked his death? Your barely hidden disdain for Schmidt? The stupid ghost thing? It all made sense! You and Kynes were in this together, and for whatever reason, you had decided to fake your deaths. Of the three members who voted to keep the item, that only left Schmidt. And since he obviously wasn't in on it, that little bit of Shakespeare must have been for his benefit. But how could you know that? We could have been working with him to scare you off or something! <laughs> Right, as if anyone would let that moron in on a conspiracy. A friggin' landmine deals with pressure better than him, and would kill fewer people. Hey! Finally, that left only one possibility. 
The two of you think Schmidt was the one who killed Griselda, and you planned this whole farce in order to finally scare him into confessing. Right. Look, you seem to have put a lot of thought into this. Well, someone had to. But this whole thing still leaves me with one question. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kynes. I entangled him in our web of lies. Why? Well, I mean, it was very important that he... Uh, um... Huh. What? Well, looks like my work here is done. Huh. I shall bid you adieu. After all, I'm sure you three have a That is a good question. About. That's right, Schmidt. You were the only other person who wanted to keep the item. It had to be you. How could you kill her, Schmidt? She was your friend. Did she really need the item that badly? What? Are you kidding me? You guys are my friends. You know I could never do something like that. How dare you act like our friend after what you've done? Oh, right. Totally forgot. I should probably mention he didn't do it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stop jerking us around. I just thought you guys might like to know. You seem pretty interested in the subject. It had to be him. There are no other suspects. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Isn't that right, Grimlock? <gasps> I said, isn't that right, Grimlock? Yes? <sighs> I said... Damn it, Kirito, we're coming! Come on! I had this all timed out and everything. Well, I'm sorry. Shockingly, he wasn't very cooperative. Oh, God damn it! who's this now? I kind of entangled her, too. Christ, Yoko, how big is this web? You're catching school buses in this thing. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing she did. If she hadn't forgotten to delete me from her friends list, we never would have known where to find you. You forgot to delete your friends list. We've been planning this for six months, and you forgot to delete your friends list? I'm sorry! I kept having trouble with the menu! Are you kidding me? A <laughs> child could figure it out! Shuddy! Hey, you two! We just gift wrapped your friend's killer for you! You maybe want to react here? Oh, please! How could Grimlock be the killer? He was helping us! Yeah, I mean, why would a killer ever want to force someone else to confess to his crime? Go on. For you see, God damn it. Schmidt would have had nothing to gain from Griselda's death. If he'd killed her, the item would have simply been destroyed along with her avatar. Really? That's your proof? Bandits extort people out of items all the time. Ah, a valid point. But tell me, do you think Schmidt would have trusted a stranger to do the job? Well, no. Well then, you must think Schmidt was skilled enough to have killed Griselda one-on-one. -on -one, or perhaps smart enough to catch her unawares? Oh my god, Schmidt's not the killer. Oh, come on! So then why the hell were you apologizing to Griselda? Hey, people threatened to kill me for giving Pokemon VNR a 7 out of 10. <laughs> At this point, I've learned to just assume the position. But just because Schmidt didn't do it doesn't mean that Grimlock did. He loved Griselda. They were the perfect couple. And it's that very reason that made me suspect him. You see, SAO has this little known and rarely used feature. Mary Player share inventory space. He could have stolen the item from his own inventory at any time. And with his wife dead, no one would be the wiser, and he'd get to keep all those sweet profits for himself. Are you mad? I didn't kill my wife for something as trivial as money. No, my story is far more tragic. We were so in love. In all our time together, we never had a single fight. But then, one night, Everything changed. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't have time to make dinner. I have to go meet Yoko and the girls to strategize for the raid. But there's still some leftovers in the fridge. Don't worry. I'll make it up to you tomorrow. Love you. <laughs> Just like that, I realized the woman I loved was gone. <laughs> I was devastated. How could she betray me like this? Clearly, if I was to preserve her memory, to hold on to the angel she once was, something drastic had to be done. So you see, boy, I didn't kill Griselda. I killed the thing that took her place. Wow, okay, um, <laughs> let me see if I got this. You killed your wife because she wouldn't get in the kitchen and make you a sandwich? <laughs> and what man would blame me? Kind Smith, you guys know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't talk to us, man. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow. You had something special, something most people spend their whole lives looking for, and you just threw it away. And for what? A lousy meal? You never really loved her. You just wanted to possess her. 
You disgust me. Kid, someday you'll understand what it's like to be in love. You son of a- Hold it, Kirito. I've got something I've been holding in for a while. Grimlock, that hat makes you look like a hipster! <laughs> no, no, it can't be true! What? No! Bullshit! I had to go to a dark place to pull out that masterpiece. It was full of emotions that scare and confuse me. Now come on, get up! We're doing this again! And this time, you're not gonna fold just cause that hat makes it look like John Lennon joined the Mafia! Oh, God! See? There's no challenge in it. <sighs> Verbal abuse, man. It's a lost art. Wow. Six months of investigation and we thought Schmidt did it. <sighs> Look, Kirito, I know we didn't start off on the best foot, but I suppose we'd be dead if it wasn't for you, so thanks. You guys were the best slaves a boy could have. Fuck <laughs> it, I tried. You all saw it. Where do I take care of We're going to make sure you get the help you need, buddy. Behind this tree. <laughs> well, that was an interesting diversion. We should probably be getting back to the front line soon. I'm only going to say this once, so you better listen. Hmm? That stuff you said about finding someone special, it was nice to see you have a sensitive side. Hey, hey, did you keep it down with that? Look, if this is about me being right about everything, I forgive you, okay? Damn it, Kirito! I'm trying to be nice and have a moment here! Which isn't easy with some people being so loud! Sorry, Asuna, we're just about done here. Wait, no, 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 no. <sighs> That's better. As for you, hey, uh, Asuna, good, good job figuring out we could track them from your friends list. I never friend anyone, so I probably would have never thought of it. Hmm. Well, then as a reward, you can treat me to breakfast. We never did get to finish our meal the other day. Huh? What is it? Thank you for freeing me. Now, my soul can finally- I don't know! Just run! 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 Oh shit, I completely forgot! Hmm? What is it, Kirito? Damn it! I hope it's not too late. What? Was there something we missed? Boom! Kirito is always right, Foundation. Grand reopening! <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay gotta stop that okay oh man the plot for that that was the plot like the overall plot for this episode like it was really well thought out comedy was there like it was really solid like i see what you guys mean it just keeps getting better I can't wait to get into episode 7 and then I guess I'll be caught up, but you know, that's okay. It's cool, it's cool. Anyways, rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys thought of it. Uh, have a great day, peace.